I'm going to talk to you about using automation in your recording software or your DAW. That's coming up on Home Music Studio One. Hey guys, Dave here from HomeMusicStudioOne.com. Welcome to the show. I want to talk to you about how you can very easily, very quickly use automation in your recording projects. I'm going to be dealing with Reaper automation, but right off the bat, I need to say that this is extremely universal. And regardless of the DAW that you are using, uh, there's a real good chance you're going to have the very same two features that I'm going to show you in regards to uh, Reaper automation and how uh, you'll, you'll use this. So automation simply is the ability to record the adjustments that we're making as we build our mix and then have the software uh, automatically play back those adjustments or render out those adjustments, okay? So uh, pretty simple in the, the overall mindset. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this little vocal line in a project that I've worked on here in the past. And uh, this vocal line right now has a little bit of delay, but I don't want the delay to occur the entire uh, time in the project. I actually just want a little bit of delay in this one little section. In fact, let me let you hear what I've got so far. Okay, in this little section right here, how long will I wait? I want to add a little bit of decay and delay, kind of a slapback stereo ping pong type delay, uh, I should say, just after this vocal line. Let's go ahead and listen to just the delay itself so you can hear what that sounds like. Okay, so I don't want that delay to occur the entire portion of the song just a little bit after this little line, will I wait? simplest way to access now my automation in order to just bring this volume up that mixes the delay in and then back down again uh, is to right click in this area in Reaper. Your DAW might have a little different way to get access to some of these automation functions that I'm showing you here, but the bottom line is the same. Uh, and we've got a few different options, but I want to zero in on the two predominant options that allow you to get up and running with automation quickly. The first one is write automation. The second one is read automation. Right now in Reaper, uh, for Reaper automation, I'm just going to select the right function. Again, your DAW is going to be very similar. Now, all I need to do to automate this delay is simply go to the beginning of where I want to start, click play, make my adjustments. And because I'm in write mode, it's going to record this automation. Let's go ahead and try that. Very simple, and actually you can see this automation envelope uh, rise up and go down. We'll come back and talk about some more ways to use automation uh, in later episodes. Now, all I need to do is instead of write mode, I want to right click on this and I'm going to select read mode now. And then let's go back and see what we have done if it recorded our automation. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And there you have it, very simple. Uh, all you need to do is if you wanna make an adjustment in automation, again, just select whatever DAW you're using, make sure your automation envelope is, is in write mode and make your adjustments while simply playing back the project. When you're done, you can do it one track at a time, uh, come back and then just click over to read mode and your automation will be set. There you have it guys, real simple way to use automation and in this case, using Reaper automation. Uh, hopefully this has been super helpful to you. Uh, make sure to like and comment. If you are watching this in YouTube, you can go ahead and click, uh, click on the like button as well as subscribe and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts. And then uh, if you really like this tutorial and you want to see more information like this, I actually got a free gift for you that I want to invite you to go ahead and download. Head on over to homemusicstudio1.com and you can sign up for my absolutely free affordable home recording tips newsletter. And I've got a free ebook entitled Understanding Compression in the Home Music Studio that I want to get out to you in your hands. So make sure you sign up today. Until next time, this is Dave Maxey with Home Music Studio One. <laughs>